Yo, what's going on guys? My name is Anton and I'm a travel photographer from BC Canada. Today I'll be teaching you how to isolate your subject in landscape photography. I'll be going over several techniques you can use in the field as well as a really powerful tool within Luminar Neo that will ultimately help you take your photos to the next level. Okay, so we're here in Luminar, um, but before we dive into the editing tips, I'm gonna share some techniques that I use when I'm taking the actual photo. So typically when I do landscape photography, I like to incorporate some sort of human element into the photo. I do this for two reasons. One is that it allows the viewer to see themselves in the photo and have a more personalized connection to it. The second is that it's a really, really good way to show the scale of a location. If you were to take a photo of, say, just a mountain, it's really hard for the viewer to understand how large that mountain is. But if you incorporate some sort of human element, such as a person standing next to that mountain, then the viewer can see the size difference between the tiny human and the giant mountain in the background. Now, the thing is, having a human subject in your landscape shot is not always easy. The problem is that oftentimes the landscape is very messy. There's tons of rocks, branches, trees, and just random things in the way that distract the viewer from the main subject. So what we have to do is find a way to isolate our subject from the background. Now there's three strategies I like to use to do this. The first is placing your subject against a clean background. Now this can be something like the sky or some clouds or a waterfall or even a road just somewhere that allows the person in your shot to stand out from the background. The second thing I keep in mind is framing. Now, framing can be a creative choice and there's no right or wrong answer, but typically I like to have my subject in the center of my frame or somewhere in the left or right third of an image. The third thing I keep in mind is the colors. A great way of isolating your subject from the background is by having them wear a color that stands out from the rest of the image. Overall, it's really important to just stop and think about where you want to place your subject. You can fix the colors and the light really easily in the editing room, but no amount of editing will fix a badly framed shot. Okay, so we're in Luminar here and I have a couple different photos loaded up from a recent road trip through the States with my friend Ken. We'll take a look at this desert road first. Overall, I love this shot, but I wish there was some more sunlight hitting this rock down here, as well as me in the longboard. I feel like it would help isolate me from the background even more. Thankfully, Luminar has a really, really cool tool called Relight, which is gonna help me fix this problem. To use the Relight tool, I'm gonna make sure I'm in the edit tab up here, and I'm gonna scroll all the way down until I see Relight. Now, I don't want to affect the entire image like this. What I want to do is I want to use a mask to make a localized adjustment that's going to mimic the sunlight from up here, hitting all the way down onto this rock. So I'll go over here and I can select from one of the different mask options. For this specific photo, I think I'm going to go with the radial gradient. Once you're happy with the shape of your mask, you can head over to the adjustments and here you'll see that if you bring the slider all the way up now, it's only going to affect what's within the mask, which is exactly what we want. Now, this is obviously way too strong, so we're going to bring this down quite a bit until right around, let's see, maybe right there. If we do a quick before and after, we can see just how much of a difference this makes. It brings in so much extra light and helps guide the viewer's eyes towards the subject. In this photo here, I use the Relay tool to not only brighten certain areas of the photo up, but also darken other areas of the photo that I thought were a little distracting. In this blue hour photo, you can see that the Relay tool doesn't have to be used to mimic sunlight. Here, I use the Relay tool to help brighten the lantern that Ken was holding for this photo. All right guys, I hope you enjoyed the video and learned something new. Just remember, when you're out taking photos, find a way to isolate your subject from the messy background. Then, when you're in Luminar Neo, use the Relight tool to help further separate your subject from the background and create a more pleasing image. Thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you in the next one.